God's word is powerful because it has a purpose in our lives. The psalmist says, Yahweh's word is perfect in every way, how it revives our souls. Yahweh's laws lead us to truth, and His ways change the simple into wise. Yahweh's teachings are right and make us joyful. His precepts are so pure. Yahweh's commands challenge us to keep close to His heart. The revelation light of His word makes my spirit shine radiant. Yahweh's decrees are trustworthy. The fear of Yahweh is pure, enduring forever. The rarest treasures of life are found in His truth. That is why God's word is prized like others prize the finest gold. By listening daily to His word, may His love be more felt in your daily life. A reading from the book of the prophet Ezekiel. Thus says the Lord God, I myself will look after and tend my sheep. As a shepherd tends his flock when he finds himself among his scattered sheep, so will I tend my sheep. I will rescue them from every place where they were scattered when it was cloudy and dark. I will lead them out from among the peoples and gather them from among the foreign lands. I will bring them back to their own country and pasture them upon the mountains of Israel, in the lands of ravines and all its inhabited places. In good pastures will I pasture them, and on the mountain heights of Israel shall be their grazing ground. There they shall lie down on good grazing ground, and in rich pastures shall they be pastured on the mountains of Israel. I myself will pasture my sheep. I myself will give them rest, says the Lord God. The lost I will seek out, the strayed I will bring back, the injured I will bind up, the sick I will heal. But the sleek and the strong I will destroy, shepherding them rightly. Responsorial Psalm The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures, He gives me repose. Beside restful waters, He leads me. He refreshes my soul. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. He guides me in the right paths for His name's sake. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil, for you are at my side, with your rod and your staff that give me courage. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You spread a table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The second reading from the letter of Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, the love of God has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit and has been given to us. For Christ, while we were still helpless, died at the appointed time for the ungodly. Indeed, only with difficulty does one die for a just person, though perhaps for a good person, one might even find courage to die. But God proves his love for us. 
in that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. How much more then, since we are now justified by His blood, we will be saved through Him from the wrath. Indeed, if, while we were enemies, we were reconciled to God through the death of His Son, how much more, once reconciled, will we be saved by His life? Not only that, but we also boast of God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received a reconciliation. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus addressed this parable to the Pharisees and scribes. What man among you, having one hundred sheep, and losing one of them, would not leave the ninety-nine in the desert and go after the lost one until he finds it? And when he does find it, he sets it on his shoulders with great joy, and upon his arrival home, he calls together his friends and neighbors and says to them, Rejoice with me, because I have found my lost sheep. I tell you, in just the same way, there will be more joy in heaven over one sinner who repents than over ninety-nine righteous people who have no need of repentance. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we, who glory in the heart of your beloved Son and recall the wonders of his love for us, may be made worthy to receive an overflowing measure of grace from that font of heavenly gifts. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen.